Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding customers who bought products A and B but not C and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past one year a couple of times. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called customers with two different columns, customer ID and customer name, and these are their data types. Customer ID is the primary key for this table and customer name is basically the name of the customer. We are also given a second table called orders with, four, with three different columns, order ID, customer ID, and product name, and these are their data types. Order ID being the primary key for this table. Customer ID is the ID of the customer who bought the product with the, that product name. Now, we are asked to write a SQL query to report the customer ID and customer name of customers who bought products A and B but didn't buy the product C since we want to recommend them to purchase this product. The order of the result should be sorted in customer ID in ascending order, right? Uh, so okay, so let's go through this example, right? So here we have customers table as well as the orders table, uh, different customer ID and their names, and in the orders table, like different order IDs, who bought it and what they bought it, right? So we want to return the customer ID and name of people who bought A and B but didn't buy C, right? So for example, customer ID one, right? So the person bought A, B, D and also bought C. So we don't need to return customer ID one. For two, the person only bought A. So we need to return, we need to keep in mind that uh, we need to return only those people who bought A and B, but not C. Similarly for three, right? So three bought A, B and D. So the customer ID three bought A and B, but didn't buy C and four, they bought C, but they didn't buy A and B. So the only output here would be customer ID three and the name of the customer, right? So Elizabeth, right? And that would be the output. Okay. So basically what we need to do is, so this can be uh, done in two ways, right? So the very basic way of doing it is from this table, keep only those customer IDs, which are in the, uh, in the list of customer IDs who bought A, as well as who bought B and not in the customer list of customer IDs or people who bought C, right? But in doing that, the only problem that we have is that we, we will have to write a lot of sub queries, right? So basically uh, we need to write at least three sub queries to do that, right? And if you know the properties of the sub queries, they are not that efficient in doing the work, right? So they take a lot of time to get executed. And as the number of rows in the orders table will increase, so it will take more and more time to get executed. There is another way of doing it by using a having clause, right? But in that, for that, we need to know something, right? So, what will happen so uh, you know to know that let me demonstrate something here right so if i return let's say from this table call orders right let's say i return select product name so name of the column is equal to like let's say a right so what it is going to return right so because the solution that I'm going to develop is based on this concept, right? So if I run this, obviously it is a wrong answer because I'm trying to demonstrate something to you. But if you see what it is returning, it is returning a set of, you know, binary values, one, zero, zero, one, one. So if you see one is for, yes, it was product ID A. So A, so one, zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero, zero. If you see, that is what we are returning, right? So based on this, can we do something? That is, if we, you know, from this orders table, group by the customer ID and try to find out if for each of the customer ID, the sum of this, right? Let me just show you, right? So what I mean is, so from orders, what we do is we group by group 
by the customer id then we return the customer id but we only return those customer ids based on certain condition so how do we filter using the having clause having sum of you know product id product name equal to a is greater than 0 so basically what it is this uh, what does this mean so product name equal to a is going to give you binary values right so wherever it, uh, in whichever row uh, there was a it would be 1 and rest would be 0 right so now since we grouped by customer id so for customer id 1 right so we have how many rows where product name was a 1 right so the sum of uh, product name equal to 1 for customer id 1 would be 1 which is greater than 0 so it is going to be there so what does this ensure basically sum of you know product name equal to a greater than 0 this ensures that that particular customer has bought a right so because if if you look at uh, customer four let's say right so customer since we are grouping by customer id so there would be a, one group of uh, customer id four and here when the uh, you know sql will find okay so there is no product name equal to a so all the rows would be zero so the sum would be zero and zero is not greater than zero so it will not include such customer ids right because this person this didn't buy cust uh, or product name product name a right so what we need to return people who bought product a product b but not product c right so if we write and same thing sum of product name equal to b now and greater than zero now if you see what will happen so it will say okay so customer id again first group customer id one right a there is one a uh, it would be the sum would be greater uh, sum would be equal to one and it would be greater than zero so one would be included and again for some product name equal to b okay there is again one b uh, so the sum would be one which would be greater than uh, zero so again one would be included right so a and b similarly if you see for two there is a but no b so two will be excluded so right now up till this point in the query one is included two is excluded three is a b and d right so we are not concerned about d a and b so three is included and four is excluded right because there is no a no b so right now we have one and three but since customer id one has bought c we need to exclude one as well so the third condition can be and sum of product name equal to c is equal to zero now if you see what will happen so in this case for customer so up till this point right so up till this point we had one and three right now out of one and three we need to remove one because one has bought product name c so when the third condition will come into picture it will find okay for customer id one there is again one person who like this person has bought product name c right so the sum would be one one is not equal to zero right so one will be excluded when it comes to three it will find okay so a is there b is there d does not matter c, there is no c so the sum would be zero and it will only keep uh, customer id three so you see now your final output would be three and elizabeth right so since uh, like we need to do a kind of you know like we can do a join or maybe another where clause but for now like you understand right how we are coming with the customer id who are buying a as well as b but not buying c right so 
this is going to have so what this will return this will return basically one column called customer id and here it would be three right so let's store this in a common table expression and we put the entire thing in parentheses right now the thing that i was mentioning earlier is that here we have included three conditions in one having clause right but if you would go the very basic route where you will have to write sub queries then you will be writing from orders where customer id in and then there would be a sub query select customer distinct customer id from orders where customer id where product name not equal to c and uh, customer id in something and customer id in another thing so basically there would be three different sub queries here right and that three different sub queries by just following this simple logic is included in just one single line right so now once we have this common table expression now what we need to return we need to return the customer id and the customer name orders table only has customer id right so what we can do is from this table customers right so what we can do we are only need we only need to keep such customer ids which satisfy you know certain condition of this uh, common table expression right so what we can do is we can simply write from the customers table right return everything because customer table has customer id and customer name so return everything and that we need to we don't even need to change the name of the columns because customer id customer name is going to be the output column names as well but we only keep those rows where customer id in and then we can write a sub query stating that uh, select customer id from ct right so basically what will happen in this case so select customer id from common table expression customer id is 3 and then it will go it will go to customer table so it will go to customer table it will uh, try to return everything and only keep those rows where customer id in so this returned 3 right so when customer id in 3 so customer id in 3 is this line right so it will return 3 and eligible right so let me just go ahead and yeah one more thing remaining here is that since the order of the result should be sorted you know uh, the result should be basically sorted by customer id so what we can do is we can just simply write order by customer id okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah, this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we solve this. Yeah, this was a medium difficulty, but uh, if you have gone the other route and let me know in the comment section, like uh, what would the solution look like the other way, which I was describing earlier. Uh, it would have taken a lot of time to execute the query but it was a very it was going to be a very simple query this if you know one small concept regarding the binary values then you can do the entire thing in just you know four or five lines so i hope this video is useful and you got to learn a new thing or like if you knew about this you got to know like where can we apply this concept uh, let me know guys if this video was useful and until then I will see you guys in the next video.